All right, are we back? Sounds like we're back. Can you hear it through your monitor? Mm, let me see. I mean, I can hear myself through okay. headphones. Is yeah. that what we want? Okay, troubleshooting. It's Monday. We got the the stream has the case of the Mondays. Do you know what that's from? I have no idea. Oh, that's Office Space, classic movie. There's Dave. Dave is joining me this morning. Good morning, everybody. Good Monday. Yep. All right. So it's Monday, and if you don't know, you know every Monday we release a build roundup, and normally we sit at this desk and we record that, but we've started recently to live stream them, and just figured you guys would like to be here live. You can ask questions, and we'll kind of dive deeper into builds, uh, and that's kind of what we've been doing. Uh, so, so we ask for this technical difficulty, right? Yeah, we brought <laughs> this upon ourselves. <laughs> we really did, but that's okay. It's it's a fun. It's the best part of the week, so we're, it's cool to do it live and have you guys here with us. But I think that's that's about it. Let's jump in and and check out some builds. I'm really excited. Let's see what we got. First up is a build from. Take a trip company, and it looks like they make bags. You can see on their Instagram, I think they make bike bags. We can see here, I think. Oh, yeah. Bike bags that attach underneath the seat, and it looks like they have some cool water bottles and stuff too. Uh, but it looks like in Bend, Oregon, designed and sewn by Michael. Nice. Dave, you might know more about bike bags than I do. Yeah, this is really cool because this is something I've gotten into lately. Uh, I've been cycling a lot, and these bags, you know, are super... Click on that one to the left of the pink where it shows the bike, yeah. So they're, um, you know, you put bags in different configurations on your frame, and it allows you to carry all kinds of different things, tools, food. Uh -huh. You know, this is like for a longer day sort of trip. Um, and you can make it, they come big so you can do bike packing. That's like mm -hmm. overnight excursions, but this is just so you can get the stuff off of your back and nice. onto the bike. So this is really cool. I, I've gotten, uh, some bikes recently by our, our next door neighbor. Oh yeah. Our industrial, uh, our, where the shop is our next door neighbor mm -hmm. is, um, has a cycling company that does a lot of these cool adventure bags. ORR cycles. Uh, so check them out. And um, so I put some bags on my bike. Nice. Well, that's really cool. So Michael designs and makes these bags, but recently he made something else. Those and are wild, by the way. Yeah, they're really cool. Color schemes and everything. Um, but you can see here, here he's going Whoa. down the road. I think he was going to some kind of trade show or maybe like a farmer's market kind of thing. And he built this table, this display for it that he could keep on his bike while he rode there oh come on so you can see here is moving kind of fast but you can see built like a rectangle shape just attached to the bike there at the bottom with 90 degree connectors goes up has some nice angled braces and basically makes this framework wow. for this top here and then he attaches the top to it and there he is all set up <laughs> he got everything out and then out on the table and he made this display i guess that's a trailer is that a trailer or I don't know. It's like a very long bike. Yeah. That, I I don't know what kind of bike that is, but uh, they have these cargo bikes. Oh. Sometimes the car goes in the back, and it's just mm -hmm. like, imagine a tandem bike. Right. Right? But like instead of a, a second person, mm. there's a cargo space. I see. But that's so neat. Yeah. So he made this display table that he could take his bags and everything to this trade show. And then we'll see that first clip again. I love this case. It looks like he's booking it down the street. And yeah. You can see, you can see the table attached. He's so that's calling. yeah. So that's really awesome from uh, from Michael and Take a Trip Co. Definitely, definitely check them out. Take a Trip Co. Take a Trip Co. Out of Bend, Oregon. Bend, Oregon. Nice. Do they do they have uh, like a shop or a website that people can go check out their bags? It looks like it. Uh, you can go to their their Instagram and click here. But it looks like takeatripbags.com. Oh, nice. My little bungee is adjustable bungee cord. I like their aesthetic they have going on. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Cool logo. It reminds me of kind of like the, the Volkswagen bus kind of kind of vibe. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Tie-dye. So you got a snack pack. I need one of those. Yeah? Yeah. I've been wanting to get one of those. He custom makes them. Maybe we can get the Maker Pipe logo attached somewhere on there. Get a <laughs> custom one from, from Michael. That'd be sweet. We get uh, that barter going, that connector oh, yeah. for 
bag barter mm -hmm. that we like so much. Oh, he makes even makes lunch bags. So it's like a take on the classic brown paper bag, but it's the magnum opus of lunch bags. I don't even know what Dyneema is. Can carry up to 25 pounds. Wow. Nice. That's cool. Oh, it can hold a six pack. <laughs> oh, that's that's for a different kind of ride. Yeah. Has yeah, enough space for a lunch and a six pack. Sweet. Well that's really awesome. Check check out take a trip bags dot com and take a trip bags co or take a trip co on Instagram. They'll be linked down below if you want to check those out. But that's that's a really awesome build. Uh thanks so much, Michael, for sharing that. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Glad you found it useful. Next up is a build from the one and only Jason, Hank the Tank. And we've seen a lot of his builds where he's done camping in the Honda Element. And he's done a uh, like a bed, a convertible bed, all kinds of cool things. We actually did an interview with Jason. You can check that out on the channel. Uh, but recently, this is his most recent build. I think there's a, still an issue with the sound, so I'll just narrate here. What he's got is one of these, uh, it's you know, the wire shelves that you can find at Lowe's or Home Depot. Really common common thing you can get and it's basically just a kit for a rectangular uh, shelf wire shelf that has this one inch od pipe and then it has the wire shelves that have a kind of a flange on the end that slides over the pipe and you can adjust it well he said he uses a ton of those around his house and garage and area and he said you know you can see he's got firewood on this one but he wanted to get some skateboards off the ground so what he's done is he's attached maker pipe connectors specifically 45 degree connectors directly to those poles and that allowed him to basically make a, a rack to put his skateboards on that's really cool and in, it was a little bit involved you can see here he had to put a uh, so he said this is cool because the there's hash marks or inch marks on the pipe so he didn't have to measure he could basically just put the 45 degree connector on the same section on both sides but since the od is one inch it's a little bit bigger than three quarter inch emt he had to do a little bit of a hack, which was uh, really clever. And we've actually found several people do this for pipes that are larger than, than conduit or larger than the, the diameter that the connectors fit. He basically put it on there, then used a clamp to squeeze it tight and kind of reform it or kind of get it close enough that he could put the nut and bolt through. And then he attaches the conduit to it, as you can see here. And he basically just did that on both sides all the way up and just added as many shelves as he wanted. And then we can see here it is finished. It looks like he added four total. And now he's got the skateboards attached to the to the bars, which is really awesome. Great hack. And it's really cool. We've actually talked about that a lot recently of, of uh, using those wire shelves from Lowe's or Home Depot. They're really common. But being able to attach to it and add, you know, racks like that or, you know, storage other shelves and things like that is a really uh, a neat hack. And really I mean, those those are everywhere. Those wire shelves. Mm -hmm. So, and and I think we've seen this with a few builds. We had like a, a rabbit cage, a rabbit uh, enclosure, right? Mm -hmm. yep. that was one thing, and and a few other custom customizing those wire racks because they're super cheap and mm -hmm. really useful. But to just be able to put a hook on, right, or something to to hang things mm -hmm. it could be a coat hook here you used a skateboard i love i love that but yeah super awesome idea yeah yeah really cool let us know if you have any of those uh wire shelves that'd be cool but yeah great hack from jason great build thanks so much for sharing that in the community i think he said he might be doing another one to, to get the bikes off the ground so that'll be cool to see but thanks jason really great to see all right next up is kind of a similar hack but it's a totally different build this was from joseph and he said that over 15 years ago he purchased a garbage can caddy and he said he's been using it a ton uh and it's really useful but he's had to make several repairs over the years including a lot of duct tape and epoxy he said eventually had to throw in the towel because the device does not exist anymore he said he looked everywhere can't buy it anymore but he wanted it wanted one so he tried to fix it kept messing up so then he found maker pipe and we can see here, here it is in pieces. And I think the joints is what was messing up. Maybe the welded joints because 15 years is, <laughs> it's a long time to be using this thing, but there was no parts to replace it and he couldn't buy another one. So what he did was he used maker pipe. I think there's four total connectors just 
kind of on the end here and then on the other end as well. And basically just reconnected this all together and just used the maker pipe with the bars that already exist. He didn't have to use any conduit. He basically just used the connectors to repurpose this garbage can caddy. And you can see he said that the pipes were a little larger again, kind of like Jason's build. They were a little bit over the size of conduit. So what he did was he used a vise, or actually no. He said using a pair of channel locks, he was able to get the three quarter inch tees in place. And then he said some of the tubes were three quarter inch. So kind of had to mix and match one inch and three quarter inch OD pipes, but he used maker pipes and shims and channel locks to get it to work. And then here he said it is. It's finished and he's able to use it after 15 years and he's super excited because he said it's super useful. So that, that's, that's a really cool story and a really cool build. He's able to reuse that, that garbage can caddy. I mean, we all know the pain of carrying garbage cans out to the curb. I mean, if you have a service that picks up, I don't even wear my Do apartment, you? but no. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, though, as a kid. That was yes. one of my chores. Oh, was, okay. I was carrying them out to the curb. And so you can see it's just the can sits on one side, and there's another one on the other side. They just have bars on the bottom that hold them, and there's a divider in the middle that kind of holds them in place. Yeah, we, we've got to throw it in the van. But still, <laughs> you know, yeah. to, to pick up individuals. And this is a sweet thing. I can't believe... I mean, they must make something like it, just different. Yeah, I mean... We, if, if not, it would be a good kit because, I mean, you can do that all with conduit. Now, somebody commented on Instagram. I guess they thought it was all conduit, and they were like, that's some amazing bending skills from Joseph. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you, you could see. make the whole thing out of just conduit. Yeah, I think it would be a good kit. I mean, we know how to do the axle, and that's the most difficult part there. Right. Um, and the rest of it would be a pretty simple build as far as just, you know, it's, you don't have to do those bends. Uh, maybe you want at the top, you know, to have that grab handle, but, but yeah. But this is like, I love seeing these builds where it keeps the old thing going, mm -hmm. right? Like it keeps it, you don't have to throw it away. You don't have to buy a new one because that's like the, the default thing, right? Like right. it broke, I can't buy it. So I'm just going to throw it away and buy a new one. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, it's, it's way cooler to fix it. Right. I mean, and, and it, you don't throw it away. You don't waste like that. Yeah. And it only took just a few connectors. And I mean, you didn't have to cut. I thought he used conduit to kind of reattach stuff, but you can see it's just connectors attached to the bars. Mm -hmm. And then he's just using the cross pipes and the whole section right. that was already existing there. You know, and this kind of, we get that question where like someone's trying to fit connectors to a larger tube or a smaller tube, right? Adapting it to something. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, if it's a smaller tube, the strategy is easy. Like you fill that space with something, right? Could be tape. Could be shims, could be bands, whatever. Mm -hmm. If the pipe is too big for the connector, then I've seen this technique. It obviously works good where you clamp it on and mm -hmm. you'll have this kind of angle, right? And you just kind of bend the steel so it accommodates a bigger pipe. Um, the other one that I've seen people do is they've cut the puzzle piece out. You mm -hmm. know, if you're handy with a, some way to cut metal, could be mm -hmm. a hacksaw just defeat that puzzle piece and you lose some strength for sure. Right. But then it just, it, it it's a little bit more accepting of a larger pipe hmm. on the puzzle piece side. Yeah. I've never thought about that, but that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you don't get that really tight grip that mm -hmm. the puzzle piece gives you, but just another idea if someone runs across that. And I guess you could drill like a self drilling screw through the connector and into the pipe. In oh, that scenario. Right. Yeah. Um, or even drill all the way through. I think Raymond, um, shared a while ago something similar to that, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. I know he definitely shared the, the vice to squeeze the connector, but that's good advice. <laughs> <laughs> good advice. That's I've, I've used that one before in a video. So I, I know. I don't know I've heard that one before. It's good, though. But it's not a dad joke if you don't use it too many times. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really cool, Joseph. Great story. Really glad that you were able to repurpose that and give it some new life and uh, make it easier to carry. carry you can see in the background the garbage cans are out on the curb. So <laughs> putting it to use, that's really awesome. Thanks so much, Joseph, for sharing that. Next up is a build from Father Fire in the community, and this is a 125-gallon rain catch barrel, and he's hooking that to the gutters to just catch some rainwater for emergency water usage. And he's hooking that up to the gutter, 
and you can see here that he just built the, a simple cart for for the rain barrel. It's just four 90 degree connectors, super simple. And then there's casters hammered into the end, uh, just one on each vertical. And then here it is all complete and in place. He's just got the, you know, the cart, as we saw in the last picture. Here it is in place. It's just 490, super simple. And the rain barrel just kind of sits in between the pipes. And then he's got, I've never actually seen this before, but I guess the, the attachment that catches the water goes into the gutter there, just kind of drilled into the side. And I think he said he used some cheesecloth uh, as like a filter for it. But he says he's going to catch, it's 125 gallons, which is going to be pretty heavy. I don't understand that at all. How does that work? I have no idea. Because if, if it's just like a flange there and just a hole, that's not going to catch any water. No, it's just the rain's going to keep going all the way down. I would imagine on the inside, there's got to be something that goes into it. You know, like just whether it be just kind of cuts off at the gutter there. Or like the bottom of the gutter's plugged, so then it builds up. And oh, then, I yeah. don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know either. That's kind of a mystery, but but cool, cool application. Yeah, cool build. I mean, simple cart, just four connectors, four casters, but looks like it's doing the job. And since it's on wheels, you know, you can roll that around uh, if you need to roll it into the garage or roll it inside. Right, uh, wherever you need to use the water at, right, mm -hmm. if it's somewhere other than that. Right. Nice. We, we've seen that kind of build before. I can think of a couple builds. There was one, the gravity shower. Well, I'm talking like not even rain barrels. Okay. You know, like just um, what it was Randy's planter on his deck, right? Oh, right. He had a planter, mm -hmm. wanted to be able to move it around. It was this rectangular planter and just did exactly this underneath the planter so he could move it around. Especially because it gets so heavy. Because I think that was the thing with uh, with Randy's as well. Let me see. I'm scrolling back through the community here. Oh, my gosh. Here. Yeah, because gallon of water weighs eight pounds or so something like that 125 <laughs> that's a lot of weight that's like a thousand pounds isn't it right yeah but yeah here's randy's build he was talking about just another super simple build for connectors but it he built it in a way that these verticals kind of hold up the the box what's really cool about this i've never seen these boxes before until he shared it. it's a glow pair planner box and it actually stores water inside of it so it's like a self-watering planter but you know, same thing with this. It's going to get heavy. And he said he was tired of moving it around because he, you know, has guests over. They have pizza parties and stuff, <laughs> as we know from Randy. Um, but to move this around, he just, you can see, has this cart underneath it. It's basically the same kind of thing. So, really cool. All right. Well, thanks, Father Fire, for sharing that in the community. Really great to see. Yeah, appreciate it. Next up is a build from Jason, a different Jason, sent this in through email. And this is really cool. So you've probably seen these wagons. This is a Quest wagon, and it's just, it folds up, and you can store it easily. And, you know, you see these people take them to the beach, all kinds of different things. It's like the the baseball, kids' baseball game, soccer it, That's what game, he's using it car. for, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. He said he's using it for a baseball game, but you can see all this gear that they had. Oh, my gosh. Couldn't fit inside of there. So what he's done is he's created this rack that sits inside, and telescopes <laughs> yeah. up and you can see whenever he telescopes it up it just creates it doesn't actually really support anything but it just keeps it from rolling off the side and allows you to just keep going vertical with it and it's just he built a box basically there's four 90s on the bottom four 90s on the top half inch telescoping inside of three quarter inch with the telescoping clamp it's got four of those total they just go up then he's got two t connectors and basically just added connectors and pipes sticking off wherever he needed to hold something so this bottom one I think basically it's just kind of like a catch, just like up here where it kind of keeps the, the table and stuff. But he said going to baseball games, they were tired of carrying all this stuff by hand and it wouldn't all fit in the wagon. So that's why he made this. Oh, here it is. You can see without anything on it. That's so awesome. And then and it collapses down to almost nothing. Oh, yeah. Just wait. Well, just wait. Something. Mm hmm. Because he, he's got these here on the sides uh, for that. And then he takes the two pipes out folds it up, and then he uses the spring clips attached to his wall and just stores the whole thing on the wall. You can see he just took a few of those pipes out, and he stores the whole thing on the wall. So it's out of the way, and then this thing folds up, and it's just a <laughs> compact solution. <laughs> so great. Man, you want to be the envy of the baseball game or soccer <laughs> game? At least I would be envious. I would think this is super cool. I mean, walking up hands-free with just like pulling the cart behind you, that's 
Yeah, that's yeah. You're down to get some uh, hateful looks. Bound to get some hateful looks. <laughs> what? Huh? No, envious. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I mean. Hero like, dad. Right. Yeah, that's true. And I guess not hateful. Not everybody's. Uh, mean, I mean, there's going to be some haters, <laughs> but the majority are going to be impressed. That's what I meant. I meant like hateful, envious kind of like vibe. Like, okay. uh, look at that guy. He's you know carrying all the baseball equipment. <laughs> but yeah, super awesome. I think. I think it's like 10 total connectors, 12 total connectors. Well, I guess there's a few more. But it's really cool. He's able to, you know, compact it down, store it on the wall, and just get out of the way. But he's able to then use it, take all the stuff to the baseball field. So it's super sweet. Yeah, build it for whatever size, too. Mm-hmm. You know, you could scale it to whatever you need. Right. Yeah, build it really for any, any style of cart you have or wagon. I could see this being really useful for, you know, going to the beach and all kinds of different things. Because nice. you've got the hooks on the side to hang chairs. You've got, and they've got a lot of chairs on there. Two, four, five, five or six chairs, two coolers, buckets, paper towels. I'm sure there's some baseball goodies in there, cookies. and <laughs> They've got the rocking shock chairs. Oh, nice. Have you seen those? I think I think Josh has one. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But it's like, it's got suspension on the back and you can mm-hmm. rock back and forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's sweet. I wanted one badly, and then I went to go buy it, and it was uh, hundred bucks. Oh my gosh. I was like, <laughs> "I'll stick with my Bucky's." Yeah, yeah. What was it? Four ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, we bought some whenever we went to Arizona last year. We stopped at Bucky's for the first time. If you've never been, it's like a, a QT. Well, you may not know what QT is, but basically like a nice gas station mixed with Walmart and mixed with barbecue food trucks. It's, <laughs> it's uh, insane. Preposterous. They have a mascot that walks around the beaver. Is it a beaver? I think it's a beaver. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we got some cheap chairs. Yeah. On the way out, we had like four ninety nine chairs or something like that, uh, and they were super cheap. So, yeah, that's a, that's a nice upgrade to the reclining chair. But, yeah, really sweet. Thanks so much, Jason, for sharing that through email. That's really awesome. But that's all the builds we have for you this week. Another awesome week of builds. That's it? All kinds of cool stuff. I know. That's that's five. We went through them kind of fast. But, you know, if you want, there is something I wanted that I should have looked at last week on one of the builds last week. If everybody has a second, I'm going to pull it up because I think I think it's worth mentioning again. I don't know if you guys remember in last week's episode, there was the canopy, the, the, canopy, the retractable canopy. Uh, here it is. From Billy. And he's got so many hacks involved in this. After this short ad from our sponsor. (laughs) Uh, Here it is. Okay, so he built this really sweet canopy. And we mentioned a few of the hacks last week. But there was one that I realized I missed that was really sweet. We've seen a couple people do this. uh, But at the top here, the way he's got these brackets attached to the top of the trailer here. If I can. Okay. He's got these L brackets and attached in between that. He's just got the end clamp without the puzzle piece. And he's just got a bolt going through it, but it allows him to hinge it. Because if you guys didn't see it, he basically made this super sweet retractable awning that he can slide out the side of his camper. And he's got a spool attached to it and um, just a just ton, ton of different hacks in this. But I think that's a totally underused hack. Yeah. You know, just to take that end piece mm-hmm. and then attach it to... A flat mount hole. Right. And and because we talk about the puzzle piece all the time, we use that for all kinds of different hacks. But I think the other side, the end clamp, is just as useful. And how we used it here is, is really smart. And we actually saw somebody else do that in the community. Um, to make a flange, right? Yeah, it was for the, it was for the um, uh, shipping container canopy. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Oh, right. That one with the great awning. Yeah, this this uh, he, he has a repurposed shipping container shop, which is cool. But then he built an adjustable canopy off the side of it. But here he did the same kind of thing where he's custom fabricated these brackets, just another L-shaped bracket. But you can see he's got a bolt going through the end clamp and through the, uh, through the bracket that he fabricated. And just made this same kind of flint, which is, you know, a really, really smart thing to do. Yeah. I, this is one of those examples of like, you know, okay, so we made this connector, right? And we made an adjustable flange, mm-hmm. but 
I mean, like this is so much simpler than yeah. what we did. Mm -hmm. And it just goes to show that like, you know, the community comes up with such awesome ideas mm -hmm. that are so much better than any, you know, one person can think of. Right. It's, it's really awesome to see. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really a cool utilization. And I can, I can see how that could be useful for, I mean, we, we talked about even doing like two in clamps connected together. So instead of it going to a bracket, you know, you do two side by side. Right. Um, it really, I mean, imagine <laughs> just like piano hinge, <laughs> like uh, a threaded rod running all the way down, like a zillion of these <laughs> things. And I don't know what you would use that for, but it would be spectacular. Oh, you know what? Have you seen that? Have you ever seen that art piece? That's like you swing, you swing it, and it like there's like thirty of these things that swing, and it's oh, okay. some kind of physics project. Oh yeah, the pendulum sort of thing. Yeah, and it like like a snake moves, and but they're all like not in a line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can make something like that. Um, wow, <laughs> that's really cool. Well, a lot of great builds. I thought that was worth pulling back up just because I didn't mention that last week. I saw it after I got back and was, you know, looking back at the video. Definitely check this out. Northwoods Engineered. Um, yeah, I'll link it down below uh, so you can check that out. But Yeah. Oh, we got, we got uh, Gregory. He's in the chat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He threw us a compliment. Thanks, Gregory. Really appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by. And Stefan was in here, or Stephen, what was in here earlier. Nice. Um, so thanks for the, the message in the chat, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> but that's really cool. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for, for coming by, hanging out with us on this Monday morning. Hope everybody has a good week. But I think that's that's all the builds for this week. I'm bummed. I wish there were more. I mean, we can keep we can keep looking. Well, we'll just we'll pull up some more for next week. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Got to keep people wanting more. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I want them just as bad, but you know, anyway. Thanks, everybody, for sharing your builds. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. We uh, love doing these, and can't wait to see you next week. All right. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks.